Hi, I'm Josh from Blaine, Minnesota, and you're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Hope you enjoy a TJV vlog. This was stuck to my mirror when I woke up. It was from Dave Cunningham. Enjoy breakfast on me. And he left me some cash for breakfast. He recognized me in the parking lot here uh, last night before I went to bed. And we had a quick little chat. And it was sort of the end of the day. And uh, I guess we both had to, or he had to get to bed, or I, I was tired too. But anyways, I found this on my mirror in the morning. I thought I had gotten like a parking ticket or something. I'm like, what do you mean a parking ticket? <laughs> I went outside, I looked, like am I in a handicapped spot? What's going on? No, I'm in a normal spot. So take it off the mirror. It looks like a parking ticket. And I open it up and there's cash in there and a note from Dave saying, enjoy breakfast on me. <laughs> so thanks Dave, I appreciate it. Got me a coffee and a good breakfast here so we're gonna enjoy that we have our new trailer behind us we're on our way home and i'm gonna be home for a couple of days we got some more work to get done there surprise surprise and uh, we're gonna see how see how much we can get done have a good sleep at home i'm looking forward to going to bed in my own bed at home I haven't been sleeping the greatest the last couple of nights i mean i feel great i feel okay it's just it wasn't uh, one of those big whammy of a sleep, you know? It wasn't a great sleep. It was just, eh, it was a sleep. I'm awake, rested. Iowa, what you doing? You got your scales open. It's not very nice. That guy over there on the right, he got pulled in for an Continue inspection, it looks like. For 21 kilometers. Karen, no one asked for your opinion. This is my vlog. That guy got pulled in over there. Which is good for me because now they're all distracted talking to that guy. And I'm just gonna slowly roll on over here. I don't got anything to hide. I'm not nearly even close to overweight. All my lights are working. Nobody even in there right now. So I'm just gonna slip on through. open their scale. You go home, have a barbecue. It's summertime. Go to the beach. You don't need to have a scale open. Come on. So I've only driven about an hour and a half, just under two hours. We're coming up to Waterloo, which I believe is where Dave said he lives. The guy who uh, left me that note and a little bit of money for breakfast. I think he's from Waterloo. Maybe we'll see him again. I don't know which direction he was heading. I didn't ask him. Oh, that's a beautiful house over there on the right. Wow. That's nice. I just don't think I would want it built that close to a freeway and facing the freeway. As much as I love the sound of the highway, it can put me to sleep. I wouldn't want my dogs that close to the highway. I'd always be scared that they'd you know, see a rabbit run across the road and get hit, it would plague my nightmares. So I don't think I would want a house that close to such a busy freeway. But it was a beautiful house though. I'm wondering if that uh, land property tax would be cheaper because it's right next to a highway or if it'd be more expensive because it's next to a highway. I would think for residential it would be cheaper, but for commercial it would be higher. I don't know. I don't really feel like finding out. I like living away from the freeways. Uh-oh. Truck went to sleep right there. Huh. So I went into Love's here and I got naked. Not an ad, but a really good smoothie. 
looking forward to that. And I got my Liquid Life. It's time to hit the road again. That was a very nice shiny truck. Very nice. Lots of chicken light. Very nice. We are past Minneapolis, where people are so happy all the time, right? And we're on our way westbound towards Interstate 94. Won't make it all the way there yet. I'm actually almost done for the day already, I think. I think I'm gonna stop around Sock Center, call it a day there, and uh, do the rest tomorrow. We'll be home for a few days. Got some more stuff to do. I bet you didn't guess that one. Got more, lots more projects to do at home. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff on the books, all kinds of stuff going on. It never ends. But hey, maybe one day it'll slow down. You never know. See what happens. We've driven seven hours today already. And we're still feeling good. And I think Sock Center is probably about a half hour up here. We're at exit 156 and Sock Center is exit 121. So, it's what, 30 miles or so? 35 miles. Should be good. It's been a beautiful day. It's a windows down kind of day. Not while I'm talking to you fine people, because that would uh, totally muffle out my voice, but it's a, it's a balmy 22 degrees Celsius outside right now. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's not too humid. It's just nice. That is the perfect temperature right there. That's what, 65? somewhere in there 60 65 no humidity just nice sunshine all day right diesel absolutely man it was a nice day it's been beautiful truck has been running good grabbed my new trailer this morning it's so nice to not have to sit there for an hour tying it all down just hug on and go you know by the time i would have been out of there on flatbed i've already made an hour's worth of distance down the road. I've already been making money. Get further, get home sooner. I like it. I like it better. We do a lot of freight that has to be hand bombed and uh, a lot of extra work done. So it's not just drop and hook and it's not just, you know, open the doors and back in and they unload. Though this trip has been a lot like that. It's been kind of nice. Usually they make me work a little more than that. How's your day been going? Going good? Let me know down below. What you up to? Where are you at? It's exit 127, not 121 here in Sock Center. We're just coming up to it now. There's a Walmart with truck parking on that side and the truck stop on that side with plenty of truck parking. So we're gonna make our way over there. We got about five hours left tomorrow. This is the end of our day for today. I want to relax. Take a little bit of a break. Get a good snooze. Get up a little earlier tomorrow so that I don't sleep in too far or too long. Because once I stop here, I've got to stop for 10 hours. Turn left on Main Street South, US 71 and then Take the entrance to the right in 70 meters. Karen, you have no idea what you're talking about. Looks like we're all good. We got that bug splat right in front of the camera. The rain is slowly washing it off there, but I know it's right in front of you guys right now. The trucker's in. Is there room at the inn for me? I hope so. We're gonna go to the back, like we usually do. It Find a nice quiet meters. spot. Make a U-turn if possible. But we'll make a U-turn, Karen, and then we're gonna park. I don't care what you say. Technically, I could go a little further legally, but I think this is a good spot to spend the night. So we had a good sleep and we woke up and guess who's here? Hello, hello, hello. Makes another hello. appearance. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I had a great night. Guys. Perfect weather. Yeah, this is great weather to sleep in. 
We both stopped at the same truck stop without planning it. We both su surprised each other. I got here before him, he got here about an hour after I did. And suddenly we realized, oh, we're at the same truck stop. That's right, yeah. I didn't know that you were here and, uh, until I pulled in here. And then I found out that you were here. Ah, sure enough, right beside you. <laughs> Nobody parked there, so I backed in, eh? And of course, right when I want to film something important, like meeting up with my dad on the road, my camera dies. I have to charge it. And he's already gone on his way out east, and I'm on my way back west. And that's that. But yeah, he, uh, he, I got there first yesterday, and he pulled.